Number 5 The Broad Infinity Mirror Rooms, in three words. Two of Yayoi Kusama's immersive, mirror-filled rooms are featured in downtown's perennially well-liked modern art museum, one that you can step into, one that you only pop your head into. The Free Museum also houses the 2000 post-war works owned by Eli and Edith Broad, including pieces by Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Ed Russia, Cindy Sherman, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Barbara Kruger, and Jeff Koons. Number 4 Academy Museum of Motion Pictures The history of filmmaking has a permanent home in Los Angeles, and it's full of the kinds of movie memorabilia you'd expect from the people who organized the Oscars, and yes, you can hold one the rosebud sled from Citizen Kane, Dorothy's ruby slippers, R2-D2, E.T., the dude's robe from The Big Lebowski, the only surviving shark from Jaws, and the floral May Queen dress from Midsommar. Number 3 Huntington Library, Art Collections and Botanical Gardens one of the region's most attractive attractions is now the businessman Henry E. Huntington's Bequest. It's also a place that, if you want to explore it fully, takes up a whole day, there is a lot to see between the art, the library collections, and the sprawled outdoor areas, and the majority of it is better appreciated at leisurely pace rather than as part of a frantic day-long rush. Number 2 Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA. One of the city's most recognizable sites is Chris Burden's Urban Light, a work comprised of 202 cast iron street lamps that were collected from various locations in Los Angeles and brought back to life. But if you don't go beyond the photogenic installation, you'd be doing yourself a disservice. The collections at LACMA include modernist masterpieces, enormous contemporary pieces, like Richard Serra's massive swirling sculpture and Chris Burden's buzzing, hypnotic Metropolis 2, traditional Japanese screens, and by far the best special exhibitions in all of Los Angeles. Number 1 Getty Center The J. Paul Getty Trust's substantial art collection was long housed in what is now known as the Getty Villa, a coastal mansion rich with antiquities that is definitely worth a visit. However, the Getty Center debuted in 1997. Hope you like this videos. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.